This year, we're fortunate enough to have 13 women on our 2020 Women in Civil Construction program. And we're very pleased to say that 12 women will be graduating today. I think Hewan's keen to get involved with this program. It's a, it's a program that we feel benefits everyone, benefits the company, benefits the women that are involved, and hopefully you know, breaks down the stigma that this is a male-only industry. So I've had uh, Lisa and Athuna here for the last, off and on for the last few weeks. When I first came to the information day, I wasn't sure, I thought it might have only been a program for younger women. So I was like really pleasantly surprised to find that more mature aged women doing it and working. Second year in for the Women in Civil Construction program in partnership with Spark Gin and Dairy has been really exciting. So again, it's a nine week program this time round. Participants undertake a certificate three in civil construction plan operations. I'll complete uh, seven units of competency. Our training provider on this program is Southern Training Organisation, so they're delivering the seven units of competency from civil construction. We also have wellbeing support, we have yoga, so we've got the Healthy Tradie Project, we've got OzHelp involved with the program, just to give the women a w really well-rounded and a supported program. I learnt measurements, how to read plans, just like the underground stuff that works like in, it makes our towns run. Not only do we believe there's a shortage of skilled labour, but we also believe there's a shortage of, of women in civil construction, so we were, we were fast to jump on board. So we've had uh, the pleasure of, of having uh, of Carly and May on site with us. They've been doing a lot of operation of, of heavy, heavy equipment, believe it or not. I've done a range of things like labouring, fencing, and then I've been on the machinery. Roller. I learned how to read plans, like there's a lot to incorporate I guess, like it's not just you're on site, like there's a lot to it. Hands on, keep on moving and always learning new things. Canberra Contractors is a civil based company, uh, I'd say we probably specialise in subdivisions like we're doing here today, roads, bridges, etc. Our supervisor has been Dealey and he has been helping us learn like basic shovel work and everything from common trenches and how they're laid to what sand goes into which trench and why and how to lay mains and piping and all that wonderful stuff that goes under the ground. It's very eye-opening. I can see like so many paths that you can go through, so many opportunities, career-based, um, even just getting into the physical work is just really good. It's a good environment to work in. The guys are really good to work with and to see some of the girls from last year, it's really good. The three participants from last year are still here. We want to promote women in the construction industry, definitely. There's a, there's a skill shortage of people anyway. I was keen to get involved again because of the success that we have had in the past couple of years. We've had a few women come through now and they're all doing really well and fit in well on the work in the workplace. I was pretty nervous at the start and then once I got involved, I was like, yeah, okay, this is my thing, good to go. I like to get my hands nice and dirty, so I pretty much got involved pretty quick. I've been doing mainly the stormwater pipes, helping them do the bedding, slinging up the pipes, haunching it, so that's putting the sand and stuff around the pipes and using a little whacker packer to whack it all down. I completed my civil engineering in India. I worked as assistant professor for two years. I find very difficult to get the job here with my qualifications, so I would like to enter into the field. Divya has been here doing all sorts of stuff since she got here, from the roller to the water cart and the fuel cart. We've been driving around to all our other sites. The program's excellent. Yeah, it was involved last year and we need women in the construction industry. They bring a different diversity, different perspective, and the, the Spark program facilitates that. Yeah, I would recommend Spark. I think it's really good to get all girls involved in an industry that doesn't have a lot of women in it. It has provided an opportunity that I don't think we would have gotten anywhere else. And I don't know if there's any other programs quite like it in the ACT or even New South Wales for that matter. Yeah, great experience. I've learned so much. Like, very different. So, it's fantastic. We've got a lot of respect for these women who are going into an industry that is male dominated and the fact that they, the self-confidence and their skills that they're learning has been really great. This year we have eight civil contractors on board, last year we only had four um, and we also had lots of funding support from Skills Canberra, Future Skills, Future Jobs Initiative and the ACT Government's Training Fund Authority. To all the wonderful women and stakeholders on this program, I really want to say on behalf of Gin and Dairy and the Spark program, thank you. Uh, without your support, this would not be possible. And to all the wonderful, strong women on our program, I cannot 
Let's wait to see where your journey takes you in 2021. You are now a part of the Spark family. It has been a remarkable experience to see how far you've come over the nine weeks and the journey that you've all shared together. I wish you every success and I'm so pleased to see that so many of you have got jobs at the end of this program.